six-time Olympic athlete, summer, winter, cycling and speed skating, and I'm here in London on the Canadian Olympic team and I just finished my last Olympic race. And how does it feel to have this as your last Olympics? Uh, you know, it's just always been such a gift to represent Canada and to be an Olympian. It's a dream that started for me when I was 16 years old and I saw Gaetan Boucher skate for Canada in the Calgary 1988 Olympics and when I saw Gaetan skate I knew that's what I wanted to do and wanted to be and wanted to live in my life and uh, since then that's been in the pursuit of my excellence. It's been on the sporting field and it took me from the Summer Olympics to the Winter Olympics now back to the Summer Olympics in two different sports. And it's been quite a ride that I just feel so lucky to have had the chance to be here, to be Canadian, and, and to, to give my best to, to what I love, and that's the Olympics. And what are your favorite moments so far of the Olympics? I know you mentioned on the race, you saw all the little kids that were along the streets. Yeah, the best part of both of my races here in London, because I do events that are free to the public, there were tens of thousands of, of people out on the sides of the roads cheering for all of the athletes, and I saw so many kids waving their flags, and I saw just the, the sparkle in their eyes that they were witnessing something so beautiful, and I kept wondering, I mean, like, how many of these kids are going to have a dream from watching this race today? And that's the most special moment for me here in London, is that so many kids were exposed to, to the beauty of the Olympics. Olympics and, uh, and especially young girls seeing big, strong, beautiful female athletes giving their heart to what they love and, and that's being an athlete and representing their country. So I think we've displayed a really great side of, of women athletes here and, uh, and I'll be excited to see what happens in England uh, as a result of these games. And what do you want to say to all the little girls back home who think that, you know what, maybe one day I want to do this, I want to be like Clara? Basically, I want to say to all young girls in Canada, you know, I was a kid once and I saw the Olympics and I was inspired and my dream began. A seed was planted in me and it's blossomed because I believed that I could do anything and I basically never limited myself. So I want to say don't ever limit yourself. If you have a dream, you go for it. You live for it. You eat, sleep, breathe it and 